G'day, I'm Hannah Maloney from Good Life Permaculture, coming to you from Nipaluna Lachuita in Hobart, Tasmania. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make your own yogurt at home, which is beautifully easy, saves in all the, all, the, all the plastic, saves some money, makes you feel like a better person, because you are a better person. <laughs> So all you need is the milk and this, this recipe is based on using animal milk. So I happen to have two milking goats, Gertie and Dilly, um, but you don't have to have your own milking goats. You can get anything from the shop. It doesn't have to be organic. You can use pasteurized or homogenized milk as well. You can use skim milk, but it just won't be as um, a firm a yogurt, which is fine. And all you need is your saucepan and your stove. I've got a nice little thermometer here as well because we have to heat it up to a certain temperature and it just makes your life a bit easier. But once you know what you're doing, you don't actually need this. So, um, so you can have a crack without it as well. <laughs> cool, all right. First step, turn your stove on. And however much yogurt you want, that's how much uh, milk you put in. So it's exactly the same amount when you finished with the yogurt. So you pour that in. You just pop your thermometer in if you're using one and we're going to heat it up to just before boiling point which is around 80 degrees. Um, so you don't want to go over that, just to, just that point and that's when we'll take it off the heat. So um, yeah, sit back, we'll make a cup of tea, come back later. <laughs> okay, so we've just hit 80, we quickly turn the heat off, get rid of that and we take it off the heat and we need to cool it down to around 40 degrees and 40 degrees is basically the temperature where you could take a little teaspoon and pop it on your wrist and it's, it doesn't, it's not ouchy. It's like, oh, that's nice and warm. <laughs> Apparently someone sent, once said to me, it's the temperature that you'd happily feed to a little baby in a bottle. So nice and lukewarm. Um, so you can just let it sit there and let it cool down. But I always forget that I'm doing it and get distracted. So um, I do something where I just pop it in a sink of cold water and it cools down within a few minutes. And it means I don't go off and do something else. So we're at 40 degrees now, so it's nice time to take it out. And again, if you haven't got that thermometer, you can just use a little bit of a teaspoon, get a bit of milk, pop it on your wrist. Oh, no worries, lovely, lovely. <laughs> That's good. And now what we do, stage, whatever stage we're up to, next stage, <laughs> come over here, and we get to add in the starter culture. So the starter culture is yogurt, already, which you can already eat. Um, so this is a previous batch we've made, but a starter culture can be from the shop that you just buy straight off the shelf. And the hot tip there is to look, turn it over and look at the ingredients and make sure it's got lots of funny long words, which are um, all the beneficial bacteria. I'll put them down on the screen for you to read. Um, the more beneficial bacteria, the better it is for you and your health. So that's the key aim there. Um, so once you've got that warm milk, you just get a nice spoon and pop it in and just mix it in. That's all you have to do, you just need one spoon. Um, our yogurt's a bit runny because um, I'm impatient. So when I was heating it up before, if you want thick yogurt, there's a couple of things. You can buy the thickest yogurt you can at the shops. And then once it hits 80 degrees in the stove where we were earlier, you can leave it there for 20 minutes at 80 degrees so it's not boiling. Other people at this stage, we're at now, will add some milk powder in there as well. But I'm just super chill and I don't mind a bit of runny yogurt, so that's cool. <laughs> so we mix it in and then I've got, I've just boiled a kettle and over here I've got a fresh new, um, to come, up, come over here. <laughs> I've got a fresh new clean jar, but I'm going to sterilise it with some boiling water, like so, and the lid, like so. And this is what I'll be pouring that warm milk into. And then you simply pour the milk in. Woo! <laughs> bit excited. <laughs> Great, so pop a lid on. We're going to just clean that up a little bit. <laughs> and now what we do, um, you put it in a what we call a hot box overnight or for 8 or 12 hours. Um, and you let it sit there overnight so in the morning you'll be ready to eat. And so a hot box is really simple, come and follow me. <laughs> 
hot box can be a cardboard box, it can be a basket, it can be a drawer in your kitchen, it can be a corner of your couch with a sleeping bag on top. All you're trying to do is maintain that 40 degree heat for that 8 to 12 hour period. 12 hours is better, this is my hot tip. So I've got lots of um, bits of material and blankets in here. I put this lovely little beauty in the middle, like so. So it's all tucked in and I start putting more layers around. Cover it up, put a little cushy on top and that's it. <laughs> so um, I will come back and talk to you tomorrow morning and we'll reveal the finished product. Cheers. So the next day we're going to do the big reveal and see what happened in the hot box. Well, that's falling off, I can hear. Oh, it is. And it's still actually nice and warm, which is wonderful. And if we take that off, and you come a bit closer, and you can see how you can tip it on the side, it's nice and firm, which is good. And when I put it in the fridge, it'll firm up again even more. But um, that's quite lovely. Oh, look at that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, it's so yummy. It's so good. Yeah. So that's it. It's that simple. Um, make yourself a hot box out of the old jumpers and cardboard boxes, whatever you've got lying around. Um, use whatever milk you've got in your fridge and have a crack. Enjoy. What do you reckon, Frida? Yummy? Yeah. So if she likes it, it's really good. <laughs>